Hello everybody, here's my mama and she's gonna be making her orange punch hole cake for y'all today. And it seems like it's pretty simple, but I'll let her walk you through it and explain everything to you now. Okay. Well, you make your cake the first thing. And I use two of these. That's what this is, is two of them. But it only calls for one. This is what it'll look like when it's done baking. Yeah. So you just make two of these uh, white cake mix yeah. things. But it calls for one. But I use two because um, I want a little bit more cake because Richard and was coming up. And uh, so I was wanting more cake because it was real low in the pan. But anyway, you fix this like you do the boxes. You fix it, stir it up, you put it in the oven and bake it. You take it out and you have to let it cool for about a half hour longer. Yeah, so put it in the refrigerator yeah. for probably a half hour until it cools off. Yeah, until it's real cool. And then you take your, I can cut that off now. And then you take your uh, a wooden spoon handle and you punch your holes in it. And this is why it's called a punch hole cake. Yeah. So you got to punch a bunch of holes in it. Yeah. So you just go over here and put however many you want in there, about two inches apart or something like that. But how, however you want to put the holes in there, just go ahead and put them in there. Four or five across. Well, I missed. But, uh, and you get uh, crush, it says pop, but uh, he couldn't find it, so he got me the sun kissed. Yeah, really, whatever your favorite orange pop is, I'm sure it would be acceptable. Yeah. So you punch your holes in that, and you um, fix your jello now. And you, uh, <coughs> it says 3.5 uh, jello. But it, well here, it's only got three ounces. Yeah, it's 3.5 ounces. So you just need one pack and then just a little bit out of the other pack, but. Yeah, or not, you don't have to if you don't want to. Yeah, or you could just put three in there, honestly. Yeah. It'd be a little bit less, but. Yeah. It'd be better than putting double the six. I'm just gonna put a little bit and then I'll make the other enough for. Yeah. To, for Jello. Yeah. So just put a. Oh, that's probably about it. Put it in here, and I'll make jello after Yeah, you just uh, eyeball it to at least for sure one pack, and then maybe like a quarter of another pack. And it says use three-fourths cup of uh, hot water, boiling water. Three-fourths cup of boiling water. So let me see where it's at here. Right there. And I'm going to set it down. Yeah, just I'm in case. I'm not going to burn myself. <laughs> And we'll pour it in here. And that's about right. So, and then we put it in our jello and you stir it until it all dissolves. And then you have to put three fourths cup of the pop. I think it's three fourths cup. Yeah. So we have to wait till all this dissolves. You just keep stirring it until it dissolves. Now, if you really wanted to, you could mix this up with different ingredients. Like if you like strawberry, you could use strawberry jello and strawberry sun kissed, and it would be a strawberry punch on cake instead of a orange. Orange crush poke cake. And we have a strawberry poke cake, a grape poke cake. I don't know about the grape. <laughs> yeah, it'd probably still be good. I'm sure they, uh -huh. they all sound good to me. This orange is really strong. Yeah, it smells really strong. So, and I put this in the freezer so it has to be cold. Yeah, it said really cold because the water was boiling. So yeah. I guess this is to made to cool, cool it down. That's why this has to be yeah. almost frozen. So I need to cost for three-fourths cup of two. That right there. Put that in there. Boy, it's fizzed, didn't it? Yeah. See, here it is. I guess the hot and the cold didn't mix very uh -huh. well. It fizzed up a lot. Yeah. It says let it uh, stir, stir it a little bit. Let it cool down. You get this and then you here. could put more in it if you want. And uh, so this is a big cake. But we'll see how this does. And the cake's already cooled. 
Yeah, you gotta let the cake cool for probably 20 or 30 minutes, yeah. like she said uh, in the beginning of the yeah, video. Yeah, touch it, make sure it's uh, cool, not real hot. Okay, I think I should do it. It smells like regular orange, but whenever you put the sunkiss in there, it makes it smell like a dream sickle for some reason. Yeah. I'm not yeah. sure if y'all know what that is or not, but it's like a pop sickle. Yeah, and then you just try to pour it over your into the holes get on this side to get the angle okay and then you put whipped topping on this oh, so you go across and pour it into the holes yeah and then i have to go in and get my cool whip and you just continue pouring it and then we go in here and get my cool whip. The cool whip is the last stage. Or the last step to the process. And it smells good though. Yeah, it smells strong. <clears throat> so and it calls for 12 ounces, and this I think is more. This is 16, 16 ounce. ounces, and all it calls for is 12, so you use half of this. Yeah, or more than half, that would be four ounces left over afterwards. Yeah. So probably three, three fourths of it. Really, you could use it however much you want. It's just a cool whip. Yeah. Yeah, whatever you want to use on it. If you don't really like cool whip a lot, you could just put it like a thin layer on there, or you could put a lot. It's up to you, however much you like on there. And after you get it done, you can put it in, back in the refrigerator. <clears throat> and I like Cool Whip. That's still Billy Women likes all this fattening food. Yeah. <laughs> the more unhealthy it is, the better it tastes. I guess so. That's what we was raised on. You know. Get it all on there. And there's your orange poke cake. Or you can even say it's a dream sickle cake. Yeah might sound a little better i'm not sure which one i'll make for the title but we've made a poke cake before i think but it was like yeah a... we did and there it is that's your um orange sickle poke cake yeah dream sickle poke cake yep so and i know it's good because it smells good so now we got our tacos for today and we got our cake for today and Sandy will be coming up and six o'clock here we'll be having our God's true word and um, we'll have fellowship afterwards you know, if y'all haven't seen the taco video I already uploaded it or I think I did at least yeah. uh, it should be before this video yeah but this video is gonna be tomorrow, tomorrow so Tuesday <laughs> yeah so by the time this video is out y'all can go back and watch the taco video that mama's talking about yeah if you ain't done watched it so that's it for this one. Y'all have a great day, and we're going to have some cutting here a little bit, and we're going to dig into God's Word and see what He has for everybody. So. Well, that's all for this one. It has to cool down in the refrigerator, too, don't it? Yeah. I'm you put it in the refrigerator for just however long you want, yeah. probably 10 minutes. Yeah, you get ready to take it out and eat it. Yeah. Yeah, and we'll put it in the refrigerator. That's all for this one. I hope y'all enjoyed the video. Yep. Make sure to like and subscribe, and we love y'all, God bless y'all, and we'll see y'all in the next one. Amen. For any new uh, viewers, new subscribers, anybody who hasn't seen it yet, here's the cookbook. I'll let Mama show it to you. Yeah, it's got me and one of my chickens on it, and it says, My Mama's Secret Recipe and Love, and that's what my secret recipe is, love, with gravy as coffee, <laughs> if you know what I'm talking about. And, uh... Then we got, we open it up. It's got a plastic binding on it. It's made with um, 
some kind of shiny paper. Almost. It's like a laminated almost. Yeah, laminated almost. And there's a story how me and uh, Corey got started in uh, cooking on the YouTube. It started with my chickens. And it's got pictures of uh, me and little miss and me and Corey. And this is Corey when he was a baby with Papa and with me. And there's me and Milton when we started our Sunday message. We did it outside last summer. And uh, we had a hot dog um, community giveaway uh, down at our church. And uh, these were the people that helped me and Corey. And uh, then the rest of it here, uh, it tells the main dishes in it, what all we have in it. You see right here, so. My mama's secret recipe. This tells the um, index of it. I can't read them little ones. Yeah, it's it uh, main dishes, side dishes, and desserts. Yeah, I don't have my glasses on it. But then you just go over through here and, and it uh, shows the main dishes and going over tells you the desserts and stuff, you know. But uh, yeah, it's just got our recipes in it. Right here is a side dish. This is the, can't read the little writing. It's cat head biscuit recipe. Oh, cat head biscuits. That's my cat head biscuits. That's what the, one of the men called my biscuits in church because I made them so big. And uh, it's got, um, it's got almost a hundred recipes. I think it's got 98 recipes in it. That's why I was going to look on that uh, and see. Yeah. There's 98 pages, so it's probably close to 98 recipes. Yeah. Because some of the pages are not recipes. You can tell them how many pages on each one. Yeah, it goes, uh, there's from 9 to 44 is main dishes, 47 to 70 is side dishes. And then 73 to 98 is desserts. So that's our cookbook. And we're selling them for $30 a piece. Uh, and uh, we'll pay the shipping. We send yeah. it out to y'all and we'll pay the shipping. We throw a tea and a few other extra things in there like cards and bookmarkers and stuff. We put in there extra with it and we pay the shipping and any uh, shipping cost. So it's just $30 for the book and that's it. Yeah. And you could send it in PayPal. Here's the information here. If you wanted to order one, then you could send it to the P.O. box here. You could send money order, a check, cash, whatever you want to send. That's up to you. But you send it to this P.O. box and make sure to put your address on the inside of the card so yeah. we can read your address. And we'll send it out to you the next day after we get it. And if you don't have uh, that stuff, if you don't have a way to send it like that, then and you have PayPal or Cash App, if you want to send it this way, that's fine too. You could send it to this PayPal or this cash app. And as soon as we get it, make sure to put your address in the order. Whenever you send the money through cash app or PayPal, you could put your address there and we'll send it out. I'll picture it and we'll send it out as soon as we get it.